Hi Lamal. So I'm doing the Warrior Cats clan challenge where you use a generator to get a clan and draw all the cats. Just so you know, this generator doesn't include kits, so I won't be drawing any kits. Anyways, let's get started. The first cat of Spruce Clan is Plum Star, previously known as Plum Tail. She's young for a leader and is anxious of being able to preform well due to this. She was selected to be deputy not long after her warrior ceremony due to knowledge, loyalty, and kindness. Cats from other clans, usually elders, see her as unfit to lead due to her kind nature and anxiousness. She sometimes wishes she wasn't so young. I tried to remain close to the description, but I have no idea what a tick calico is and Google wasn't helping lol. Our next cat is Coppertail, the deputy. She is the opposite of Plumstar for the most part, still young but rather confident and outspoken. She won't hesitate to put her opinion or ideas into something. This is why Plumstar had chosen her to be deputy. Many cats see her as more fit to lead, but Coppertail does not tolerate people talking bad about Plumstar and won't hesitate to scold those who do. I really like her design and the pattern I had made on her tail, but I'm not sure if it's fully accurate to the description. Our next cat is Black Cloud, who is the medicine cat, before I hear anything. Yes. Brown tabbies are actually genetically called black tabbies. She is the oldest of the medicine cats in the forest and is rather closed off and independent. Nobody really knows the reason why, but it is expected to retire after her apprentice gets her full name. She's relatively tall, muscular and healthy for her age though. Our next cat is Fennel Cloud. He is a newly made warrior and has a close bond with Black Cloud. He is an ex kitty pet whose name was Fennel. I wasn't sure what a fennel was before this, but it's a root plant with yellow flowers and a white fruit I think at the bottom, so I added white and yellow in too. His design to have his name fit more, due to his mother-son relationship with Black Cloud he was considering becoming the medicine cat apprentice, but decided overall that he's happier as a warrior. Thrift Throat is our next cat, he's selfish and rude, hates kits and absolutely loathes Plumstar. He thinks Plumstar is a useless leader because kindness shouldn't be considered while leading. If this was an actual book I feel like he would be the main antagonist. He has a thrift flower on him at all times. Nobody really knows where he got the flower from and he snaps at anyone who asks because it isn't their business. He finds kits annoying. He has an apprentice as well, more on them later. Tansy Whisker is a senior warrior. He was born without a back leg. This caused issues at his first gathering as an apprentice as cats thought he shouldn't be a warrior because he can't walk as fast, though the previous leader of Spruce Clan fought off this ableism. He now awaits his retirement. His sibling is Black Cloud. He thinks Plum Star will be a good leader and doesn't understand Thrift Throat, and also sees Fennel Cloud as the nephew he could never actually have due to his sister being the medicine cat. Spider Fang is the clan's best fighter. She is also Coppertail's sister. She wasn't chosen as deputy since she is much more impulsive and loudmouthed than her sister who is a lot calmer compared to her. Spider Fang actually managed to take out a fox by herself and wears its pelt. Plum Star was very impressed from this act and has a bit of a crush on Spider Fang because of this. Spider Fang isn't aware of this yet though. Spider Fang also has her own apprentice, much to the clan's excitement. Hail Heart is a blind warrior. She mostly uses her hearing and reverberations through the ground to hunt and fight. She's very sweet and energetic and doesn't really mind her disability. If any cats are rude to her due to it she will not hesitate to scold them. She also defends Tansy Whisker if anyone is rude to him since Tansy Whisker doesn't really want to get into any conflict when he is so close to retiring. Plum Star has confirmed she will get an apprentice in the future when more kits are born. Slugpaw is the medicine cat apprentice and is relatively quiet and kind-hearted. She has autism so she struggles with loud noises and other overwhelming situations. This wasn't the reason she became the medicine cat apprentice though. She requested to become one since she knew Black Cloud was close to retiring yet there was no medicine cat apprentice. So she knew that either some other cat would be forced into being a medicine cat if she retired or that Black Cloud just wouldn't retire she thought being a warrior would be fine. But she's happy as a medicine cat apprentice. Skipper Paw is an active and strong apprentice. Her mentor is Spider Fang. She looks up to Spider Fang and thought her being able to kill a fox by herself was really cool. She is also best friends with Slug Paw. She's very excited to become a warrior. She thinks she will be leader one day and respects Plum Star. 
She doesn't really understand why a lot of cats from different clans don't like Plumstar. Can't think of anything else for her enjoy the speed paint. Comrade Pa is our final apprentice. I decided to make him a Tom since all the apprentices were she cats. He is Thrift Throat's apprentice and I just decided to make him the one edgy awk we all have. His opinions are heavily influenced by his mentor, so he does not like Plum Star either. He isn't as vocal as his mentor though, since he is a bit scared of Coppertail. I changed him a lot from the original description to make him look more unique. I made his tail look a bit like a wing, since a cormorant is a type of bird. I overall made him look more like a cormorant. Silver Blaze is the clan's only queen so far. She is currently carrying half-clan kits. She doesn't regret having them, but fears for their safety if anyone ever finds out that the father isn't of Spruce Clan. The clan doesn't really mind her not wanting to name the father though. Silver Blaze was a calm she cat, but the stress from her kit's parentage has made her more anxious and snappy. She used to have an apprentice, but they had chose to leave the clan as they thought clan life was too stressful. She wishes that she could do the same, but she knows that most of the forest would hate her. That's all the cats I drew. I decided to not draw. Elders do to two of the clan cats already, being close to retiring. I might make another video if this one does well. Bye.